Welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss syntax directed translation. Okay. Simply, if you want to perform static analysis of any language, we are using syntax directed definition. We already know what is syntax directed definition. It is a combination of context to free grammar with semantic rules okay here attributes plays a crucial role attributes are associated with each and every grammar symbol here what is mean by grammar symbol grammar symbol is either a terminal or non-terminal each and every grammar symbol is associated with the attributes the semantic rules are associated with each and every production. Semantic rules are associated with each and every production. Now, this is the part of syntax directed definition. Now, I will show you how do we represent a syntax directed translation. This is the conceptual view of syntax directed translation. Simply, first an input string is given. An input string is given. We pass the input token stream. That is whatever the input string is given. We are parsing the input stream. And then a parse tree is generated. We already know how to construct a parse tree. Once the parse tree is generated, then the tree is traversed then we are traversing the parse tree for for evaluating the semantic rules we are traversing the parse tree for evaluating the semantic rules that are present at each and every node simply the parse tree is converted into dependency graph generally the dependency graph shows in which order the nodes are executed the nodes are executed once we draw the dependency graph what we understand we know the evaluation order for semantic rules so that means simply the context free grammar consists of set of production. Each and every production consists of some set of semantic rules. In which order the semantic rules are executed to get the final output. Generally, instead of parsing all these step by step, all these step by step, in a single pass also, in a single pass also we get the perfect output how instead of all this simply we are constructed the annotated parse tree we already discussed the annotated parse tree what is mean by annotated parse tree a parse tree which consists of values of attributes at each and every node a parse tree which contains values of attributes at each and every node that is called annotated parse tree. Okay, this is the conceptual view of syntax directed translation. Now we will discuss the translation scheme. What is the translation scheme? We already discussed attributes. Attributes are associated with each and every grammar symbols. Now, these attributes are used to evaluate the expression. Whatever the input string they are given, the attributes are used to evaluate the expression along the process of parsing. 
so parsing attributes are used to evaluate the ex expression that means in simple term in which order the semantic rules are applied this specifies in which order the semantic rules are applied that means simply the jury the process of parsing the evaluation of attributes we are considering the semantic rules actually the semantic rules are placed at the end of the production within curly braces we already discussed all these things semantic rules are placed at the end of the each and every grammar symbol each and every grammar symbol simply the code fragment simply the execution of code fragment semantic actions execution of code fragment the semantic actions from the syntax directed definition that is the syntax directed definition contains some semantic actions whatever the code that is present in the semantic actions in which order they are executed is called syntax directed translation syntax directed translation simply in a single point the execution of syntax directed definition is done the execution of syntax directed definition is done by using syntax directed translation here the semantic actions are executed in the given order generally it follows depth first traversal generally it follows depth first traversal this is the translation scheme we are using okay now i will explain with an example i will explain with an example for example an input string is given 2 plus 3 into 4 2 plus 3 into 4 this is my input string now what is your aim simply to convert that input string into what is our translation scheme so the translation scheme that converts in fix expression into post fix expression so this is my input string that is in fix you have to convert into post fix they are given a grammar assume this is the grammar e tends to e plus t within flower brackets whatever you are written those are called semantic rules print f plus here this is called semantic rule this is called semantic rule for example e tends to t t tends to t star f print f star f tends to sorry t tends to f f tends to some number print f or print whatever it is num dot value so this is the given grammar this is the given grammar what is the procedure for the input string construct the parse tree and then traverse top to down and left to right for execution simply first starting from e the start symbol e tends to e plus t right e tends to e plus t for example, to get this answer, E tends to T, T tends to F, F tends to the corresponding number, F tends to corresponding number. Similarly, T tends to T star F. Here T tends to F, F tends to the corresponding number. Here F tends to number. So generally, this is the syntax tree. Now, to convert into annotated parse tree or the dependency graph, we have to write the semantic actions for each and every attribute. Scan from top to down E. So, E is expanded to E plus T. 
here it is expanded it is expanded now at this position for the symbol number this is the semantic action what is the semantic action print num dot value print num dot value now this semantic action is executed so whenever it is executed it produces two it produces two similarly here also print num dot value it produces three here print num dot value it produces four now now coming to this one coming to this one f so what is the production that is what is the semantic rule for f for f the semantic rule is print star the semantic rule is print star for example see step by step now 2 is printed after completion of 2 move to top 2 down and left to right this one here now the number 3 is printed right now the answer contains 2 next to which number we are getting we are getting the number 3 and then again move to this position this position and this one here we are not getting we are getting the number 4 observe carefully number 4 right now we are at this position for f we have the statement print star whenever we are reaching f print the value of star for t what is the semantic rule print plus the semantic rule is print plus after that this one the plus is printed you got it Whenever we have a print statement, that corresponding thing is printed on the output. Now, this is the postfix expression for the given infix expression. In this way, we are performing syntax directed translation. Okay. In the next session, we will discuss how to construct a syntax tree. Thank you.